Hello there, it's Sev here from Three Counties Motorhomes and welcome to my video guide on Dometic fridge freezer models, three-way fridge freezers that have this style of control panel. Now this particular model has a uh, fully closing door that obscures the panel. Some uh, will have the panel at the top, there'll be a half height fridge, but basically any Dometic fridge that has this panel, this video is going to apply. So first things first, we have the energy selection buttons here, and then we have the temperature selection right here. Now, to turn the panel on, all we're going to do is press and hold the blue button. You'll see it does a light check very quickly, and then the unit powers up, and um, it's come to life, and that's all you need to do. Now, to choose the energy selection, first of all, you need to um, press these buttons. Now. I'm going to just mention this does have a sort of inactivity timer, if you will, that after a period of brief inactivity, it's going to dim the lights on the panel. You'll see them do that in just a second, hopefully. There you go. They've just dimmed very, very slightly. And when they have slightly dimmed, the first press you do on the control panel, regardless of button, is going to just bring the panel back to life again, if you will. Um, now, this, this is just so that the dimmed lights are going to be less intrusive at night time when the motorhome is darker overall. Um, so, for example, if I press the battery here, you're going to see nothing's going to change. It's just going to brighten the lights. But now if I press it now, now things will happen. So by pressing these buttons, we're going to choose our energy selection. So the plug is mains electricity. The gas flame is gas and it's self-igniting. OK. And it's just lit straight up. So there we go. Lovely. And then we have 12 volt. Now, this uses a symbol of a battery, but please don't let that confuse you. OK, your fridge freezer in 99.9 percent .9 of installations in motorhomes is not going to be looking for a 12 volt power source coming from the leisure battery. The 12 volt electricity it's looking for is actually coming from the engine's alternator. This is your on road power source, of course. So um, it's only going to be good enough for maintaining temperature in the unit when you're on the road. It's not able to really cool the unit down. Um, but in order to have power on the road, it needs to find a 12 volt supply from somewhere. Your control panel is typically not going to be on, so you can't use the leisure battery. So this is looking for the engine. So ignore the battery symbol. This means 12 volts. And if I press that, as you can see, we now have a problem. We have an error light. It's blinking. It's making noises. And that's because it's not finding any 12 volt power. And that's because, of course, in this case, the engine isn't on. So there we go. Now I've got a beep because I've had the fridge freezer open for too long in this case. So I'm hoping, let me just close the door. There we go, that's stopped that. I should be able to open again. Right, next up, your fridge freezer may or may not have the A button. If it does have the A button, then there's a chance it has the automatic mode. And if we press the automatic mode, it's going to automatically choose the correct power supply. Now, for example, if I choose gas manually again and let it light on gas just to show you the automatic mode actually working. If I press A now, you can see it's chosen uh, mains electric. OK, so the A will be illuminated to show we're in automatic mode and it's chosen electric. And as the name suggests, this means you don't have to manually choose the energy source when you change your motorhome situational configuration. You can just leave it on automatic and it will do things itself. So, for example, if I was to disconnect mains electricity right now, it would switch itself manually over to gas, for example. Now, I believe the priority order is... Uh, Battery, well, not battery, of course, 12 volt first. So it's going to be looking for the engine uh, source first. So if we're driving, it's going to prioritise that. If the engine isn't running, it's going to then prioritise mains electricity. But if it can't find that, that's when it will use gas. All right. So that's the energy selection. And then next up, we can press the thermometer button here to light up different amounts of segments. And they ran Robin, as you can see, like that. The more segments we have lit, the colder the fridge freezer is going to try and get. OK, and pretty much that is it. That's how the control panel works. It's as simple and easy as that. OK, so turning off, by the way, is as easy as just pressing and holding like so until all the lights turn out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, Dometic fridge freezer video guide that for any fridges that feature this style control panel. I'm Sev. I really hope this video has been useful for you and thank you very much for watching.